my wonderful friends and welcome back to another video. I hope you're doing really well. Today we are doing a wheelchair tag. Now in the old days of YouTube when people were just kind of starting out this whole YouTube thing and didn't really know what we were doing, people would do tag videos. So there's like the sister tag, there's the husband and wife tag, you name them there's a tag for most things. So a couple of years ago, I decided to invent my own tag, which was the wheelchair tag. Lots of you guys also took part as well, which was fantastic. But now I've got my new wheelchair, I thought I would do an updated wheelchair tag. So in this video, I have come up with some questions which I will be answering. If you feel like taking part in this wheelchair tag, you can either do it here in long form on YouTube, or you can do it as short form as well, then please feel free to do so. I have left all of the questions in the description box. Feel free to answer as many as you like or come up with some of your own questions make sure you tag me and share it with me so I can share it on my socials as well why do you use a wheelchair well if you haven't seen it already I have the full story here but in a nutshell when I was nine I had a coarctation repair on my aorta and while I was coming around from the anesthetic the aorta ruptured and I suffered major internal bleeding I was in a coma it was touch and go um, but as a result of the lack of oxygen to the rest of my body and the internal bleeding I suffered a T10 incomplete spinal cord injury and that's the basic story in a nutshell are you a part-time or a full-time user? I'm a full-time user. What make and model is your chair? Well, if you're new, then you may not know, but this is my current wheelchair. This is a GTM Jaguar. I have lots of videos on it here. Um, I have had it for over just over a year now, and Spoiler alert, I absolutely love it. It's a rigid framed chair, it fits me like a dream, and I feel like I have learned so much over the years of using a wheelchair that I finally got it right. <laughs> it just goes to show you that, you know, these things do take time, they do take trial and error. Also, as your body changes, your skills change, all of that. Um, your wheelchairs change with you. So it's really, really hard to just get it right forever because you are constantly changing. Um, this wheelchair I think I've had for six, maybe seven years. This is a motion composite Veloce wheelchair. It's a folding wheelchair. Again, I have lots of videos on my channel. I'll leave them linked everywhere so you can have a look at them. This is a carbon fiber folding wheelchair and it it's a, it's a really good chair, it's amazing. It's served me really, really well. As you know, I used it when I went to Morocco uh, for many different reasons. The thing that I find really hard about this wheelchair is it is double the weight of this wheelchair and also the seating position um, is different uh, at, a, at a, light, a 90 degree angle, whereas my other wheelchair is bucketed. Again, that is explained in some other videos which you can go and check out. Obviously, these are manual wheelchairs. There are lots of different options which you can have to make your wheelchairs um, a power wheelchair. If you've got a manual wheelchair and you feel like you need a little bit of help, there are things like a smart drive or a smooth, or you can get bike attachments. You can also get e-fix wheels as well. As you may know, I have a Batek, which I absolutely love. It was one of the things that drew me to this wheelchair. These wheelchairs come with a Batek bar already welded onto the frame so it kind of adds no weight at all whereas if you were to add it onto your chair they weigh about one to two kilos which is a lot it slowly adds up the weight a great question that i have put in here is what is your dream wheelchair and quite honestly hand on heart i'm really pleased to say that i've got it i am so pleased with this wheelchair it is as I've said before, it is perfect. Again, GTM Jaguar, it is lightweight, completely welded, rigid frame. Um, it fits in so lovely with my lifestyle. Um, the seating position has made such a change. When I went to Morocco and I went in this wheelchair because, of, because it has the push handles, 
Um, I really noticed a difference with my pain levels in my back. I started to feel pain that I haven't felt for nearly a year. So it just goes to show you how getting the measurements and the positions right in your wheelchair can make such a huge difference. What cushion do I use and why? Well, you may not be able to see it, but actually this cushion is a Supracore or a Stimulite Supracore cushion, which kind of has like a honeycomb structure inside. It is great for keeping your position. It's great for helping if you have pressure sores, and I absolutely love it. Uh, I have really noticed a difference. If I'm not sitting in that cushion, after about half an hour to an hour, I start to get really uncomfortable. When we went to see The Little Mermaid the other night, I started off sitting in the cinema chair, and then all of a sudden I, could just, I just felt so uncomfortable, and I was in so much pain. I was constantly fidgeting, moving, and then I thought, oh, what are you doing? Got my wheelchair cushion and sat on my wheelchair cushion, and almost instantly the pain went. I highly recommend the Supracore cushion. Favourite or most useful skill that you have learnt? Um, my most favourite skill is probably being able to do a wheelie. Um, spinning around in a wheelie is not really useful, but it's quite cool to do sometimes if you're having a dance or whatever. <laughs> uh, but doing a wheelie is the one of the best skills. Um, that will help you to go up and down curbs, um, pop over little bits. Um, if you're able to hold a wheelie for a prolonged period of time, then going over rough terrains like grass or uneven areas in a wheelie can make things easier. Going down hills in a wheelie um, just slows you down um, and gives you a little bit more control and really freaks people out if you do it as well. Daisy gets really scared if I do it and stands behind me, bless her. And also being able to bump up curbs or down curbs as well. Those are really, really useful skills because even when you do have cut curbs, sometimes there's a little bit of a lip and sometimes there isn't a cut curb available. What skill do you wish you could do but you can't do? Um, okay, I would, I mean, I say I would kind of like to do it, but at the same time, I'm okay not being able to do it. And that is, um, you know, when people go down like a flight of stairs in their wheelchair and they're just like, boom, 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 down the, like a whole flight of stairs, not just like two or three, like a whole flight of stairs. That could be quite useful. But one, I get vertigo. Two, I am scared of heights. And three, it's just really, really scary. So I'm not sure if I'll ever be able to do that, if I'll ever have the bottle to do that, or if I ever have the desire to really want to teach myself to do that. Don't mind just doing one. Um, but yeah, no, it's not for me. What do you think? Can you do it? Would you like to be able to do it? Or are you all right not being able to do it? What's the best thing about being in a wheelchair? Being a wheelchair user, and having a disability has made me the person that I am. Some people don't like to be defined by their disability. However, I don't mind that. I feel that it has made me the strong, resilient, understanding person that I am. Um, without being in a wheelchair, I wouldn't have experienced the things that I have experienced. I went scuba diving at the beginning of this year, for goodness sake. Would I have done that? Maybe, maybe not. Um, I've met so many incredible people. I think being told that you will never be able to walk again or that you've got to use a wheelchair, for so many people it's devastating and of course it was devastating for me for many, many years and you just feel like your world has exploded and shut. But what is incredible about using a wheelchair is sometimes it can absolutely change you for the better and open up your world to things that you never even thought of doing before. And I think being made disabled has actually made me more ambitious and want to grab life more and enjoy life as much as I can. And that is the best thing that I can think of. What's the worst thing about being in a wheelchair? Of course, there are lots and lots of things. Um, but I have, I have often said that it's the ableism and it's people's attitudes that is the most exhausting thing. 
Um, and the inaccessibility when, you know, you just want to go to a concert, for example, or you just want to go to a restaurant, but you have got to constantly plan ahead. Nothing is easy. Nothing is spare of the moment. Nothing is quick. Everything takes extra time. Um, and you've got to try and find everything out. You've got to phone venues or email venues and wait for their replies. There's so many factors to consider. And that is what I find hardest. Oh, <laughs> where do I start? What's the weirdest or most stupid question someone's asked you while being in a wheelchair? Oh, well, I mean, I've had them all. I've had the speeding joke ticket tickets. I've had the speeding joke, the speeding ticket joke. That's what I'm trying to say. The speeding ticket joke. All sorts of horrible things said to me. Oh, I've had people wanting to pray for me while I was at work as well. I've had people ask me if my daughter is disabled. But one thing that has stood out in my memory that I can remember is many years ago, I worked for a big retail company and the retail company used to support Macmillan. Macmillan is the nurses that support people with cancer. Um, so I decided to go in on my day off and hold the little collection thing and ask people to donate money. The amount of people who wished me better and assumed that I was ill, you would not believe and it just really stands out to me and I'm like there's nothing really wrong with me my legs just don't work that well that was awkward so with that said it kind of just goes to show you how the public perceive disability sometimes what is your dream wheelchair accessory um I think in my last video I said it's a batek and I've got one and I absolutely love it it's just made going out so lovely and so easy. I can go on walks with Sean and Daisy, but what I would really like now is a Batek Mini. I have done a review video on the Batek Mini, um, but I was just borrowing it for the video. But my dream now is to actually own a Batek Mini so I can get it in the car and transport it easily to places and maybe take it away on holiday because honestly, it's the one of the best things. I absolutely loved it. If you'd asked me a couple of months ago, I probably would have said something like an Omeo, but since trying out the Omeo, I decided it wasn't for me and I much preferred the Batek over that. Now I'm quite happy and content with those things that I have found. What advice would you give someone choosing a new wheelchair? Um, I would say watch Wheels No Heels on YouTube because she's got loads of helpful videos to help you decide what wheelchair is best for you. I've got so many. You can see me going through the whole process of picking this chair. Um, you can watch uh, a video that I made on the mistakes, the costly mistakes people make when choosing a wheelchair. There is so many valuable tips in there. So that is what I would say to you. <laughs> and then the last question says, tag some YouTubers to take part in the wheelchair tag. I'm not going to tag anyone this time, but if you do want to take part, I would absolutely love to see it. You can email me the links, um, I will share them. Again, make them on your socials if you want to make short form. If you um, don't make content, but you want to answer some of these questions, please do so in the comments. I think it's great that we can learn from each other um, and see, you know, all the different types of wheelchairs that are available and how they can help people. It's really nice to see what kind of wheelchair is really popular at the moment. Um, I would love to know. If you enjoyed this video, I think you will enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up, share, take a screenshot ah, and share. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Bye.